Hello, space fairies. Look, we all did stupid things when we were younger. We all made mistakes. But most times we grow up and realise that the mistakes we made were actually not that big of a deal and were really just part of growing up. <laughs> this, uh, this is not one of those times. It's no secret that I have long been pursuing acting in one way or another and this was also true when I was 15 years old. One day after theatre class, I overhear two adults talking about a web forum they used to share casting calls that are not public knowledge. This was very exciting news for me, so I wrote the website down and later that night, I found it. And true enough, within seconds, I am bombarded with secret castings and productions that I hadn't even heard about elsewhere online. But here was the first problem. You needed to make an account to get all the contact details. So I make an account as myself and I'm immediately blocked. Here, I discovered, was the second problem. The whole forum was hosted by and exclusively for parents who were looking for roles for their children. When I made an account as myself, I didn't meet the minimum age requirement, so I'm not allowed on the site. I find this maddeningly unfair. I am a strong independent teenager who don't need no parents to job search for me. I should be able to access this vital career changing information by myself. I take a quick look through the posts. I see the way the parents talk to each other and use acronyms and code words and I think to myself, yeah. I can do that. And so I make a new account, not as myself this time, but as Jeremy, a young single father of two teenage girls. Why a father? Don't know. Why Jeremy? That was the name of a teacher I had a crush on. Next. Why two teenage girls? Why not just the one teenage girl called Chloe? Could not tell you. But this is the character I became and I stuck to it. That first day was a thrilling time of researching opportunities, asking questions about auditions and doing my level best to not give myself away. And I must have been doing okay because by day two, I have messages. I have 17 messages in fact, and they are all from single mothers on the forum introducing themselves. Guys, there's just so many heart emojis involved. But 15 year old Chloe is like, that's nice, what lovely people. And then I go about my business. Day three, more messages, some from new people and some from the first group who are now following up and asking me about my day and talking to me about their kids. At this point, I start feeling like I can't maintain all these conversations and, you know, finish my homework on time. So I just decide not to respond to private messages anymore. 15 year old Chloe thought this would work. My God, she really did. But damn, Jeremy's stories of his darling fake daughters must have been so fake endearing because suddenly over the next few days, Every single thing I wrote was met with a lot of Your daughters are so lucky Heart emoji Wish my husband was this sensitive Heart emoji Could do with a man like you around, Jerem Heart emoji 15 year old Chloe had been warned so many times about the dangers of talking to strangers on the internet she never even noticed herself becoming the danger I probably should have hit the kill switch much sooner than I did but I was determined to learn as much about acting as possible That is until one day I get the email, the automated email from the site informing me that my inbox is full. Impossible, I declare to an empty room, but I logged back in to check and sure enough, there they were. Dozens and dozens and dozens of unopened messages from the past couple of weeks, all from single mums asking me about my day, explaining how refreshing it was to have a devoted father on the site and most alarmingly, more messages than I care to admit, Asking Jeremy on a date. Guys, I ghosted. I ghosted so hard. I deleted everything in the inbox, started removing my posts from the site, logged out and never logged in again. I just wanted to be an actor, guys. This is just more than a single father of two can handle. There is literally no moral to this story, other than I guess 15 year olds are idiots and people on the internet will lie to you. And also forums in the thousands were like the wild west, but we already knew all of that. It's obviously nearly 15 years later now and honestly I had forgotten about the whole thing until someone roughly my age mentioned the site in passing because their parents used to use it. So like just a heads up, I guess, if you're a millennial with pushy stage parents who use too many heart emojis, your mum might have asked me out on a date.